September 17th and 18th brings us a Pisces full moon lunar eclipse. Yes, it's a Pisces lunar eclipse that is beginning our second eclipse season of the year. And this is quite a powerful one. So it occurs at 25 degrees of Pisces, moon 25 degrees of Pisces, the sun at 25 degrees of Virgo. And we have powerful influences here from the three outer planets. So we have an earth grand trine with the sun in Virgo trining Pluto retrograde in Capricorn at 29 degrees and Uranus retrograde in Taurus at 26 degrees. This could feel like you're ready for change. You're ready to do something differently in your life. This is a time of drastic changes, powerful, invigorating changes, maybe people making surprise declarations or something occurring that actually feels right on time and powerfully aligned with a next chapter. Now we have that moon at 25 degrees of Pisces, which is the center point of a lunar eclipse, and the moon is conjunct Neptune, retrograde in Pisces at 28 degrees. So here is the moon feeling that intuitive, dreamy openness of Neptune and Pisces, I think there's going to be a lot of intuitive downloads about what to do next in your life, what changes to make. I feel people opening up even more to their spiritual guidance, their angels, their cosmic teams. There can even be a sense of trusting it more and living with that energy in a more grounded way, meaning living with an honoring of your intuition, trusting what you're feeling. There can also be heightened escapism. There can be a lot coming up in the real world that you want to trust the process around. It's, it's the surrender. It's a grand surrender when the moon is conjunct Neptune, especially towards these final degrees of Pisces but it's grounded with this earth grand trine. So wherever this is occurring for you, there is an opening here. There is an opening into more messages that await you in the higher realms, and it can help you integrate and embody that energy even more in a practical everyday way. I'm just feeling it as like a, a rewiring of our systems, uh, perhaps even a sense of feeling like what used to concern you or worry you doesn't affect you as much anymore. This is a big one. There's something big here for collectively all of us, but then each of us around what we are reprogramming and how we are living with that new energy the new downloads, the new intuitive guidance, and, and how we're honoring it as part of our ascension and our own expanding consciousness. So I have a video for you on YouTube going through the chart more specifically, and I hope that helps pinpoint some more themes or ideas that might be coming up for you during this first eclipse here in the second half of 2024. So check out my YouTube channel for even more. And then we're going to have our second eclipse in Libra. That'll be on October 2nd. And I'll be back with a video on that too.